Hello viewers, in uh, today's session we will uh, be discovering uh, a very useful feature uh, which is related with supply chain module and uh, this feature is uh, on which we are we will be uh, basically checking it out is related with the product templates. So normally when you create product uh, you need to enter so, uh, so many fields or so many values uh, in the basic setup of the product. So instead of uh, every time you need to enter in those uh, fields, it's better to create the product template so that you can apply or use this template whenever you create a new product. So let's explore it and uh, in uh, Contoso, uh, which is an example uh, company or sample company, in, in your cases maybe you will be working in your uh, company's legal entity uh, in that legal entity, you uh, need to go to the product information module and then you can go to the release product uh, page. In the release product page, we have all the listing which are released under this uh, legal entity. Uh, so there, there is b before this, there is all product or product master page in which uh, unreleased products are available from where you can release in different uh, legal entities. So these, this page is uh, uh, showing the common products which are common, but until they are released, uh, they, they are common. Once they are released, so only then you can find it in the release products uh, per, is per legal entity wise. So the, this view, release product view is on the basis of a company. So if the product is released under this uh, USMF legal entity, so it will be only visible in, uh, in uh, that legal entity. So first of all, I will just uh, put a filter here in the product type uh, column. And uh, here I can see all the service type of items. So, so from uh, this item, for example, installation services, I would just uh, overview this item and you can see the unit of measure each is defined and uh, in order to explore we will see a uh, unit of measure is each is defined then we have uh, the uh, item sales sex group hours is defined and similarly on the sales also each is defined inventory unit is also each and along with this you can see here storage dimension group site and warehouse Tracking dimension is none and item model group is expense which is non-stockable. If you want to see it, you just click it and you will see the stocked product checkbox is unticked. So means this is expense or service type. Uh, and tracking dimension group means uh, none means the there is no serial or batch number. Instead, those are unticked. Uh, so there is no tracking dimension. But in the storage dimension, we have site and warehouse enabled. Uh, these two storage dimensions are enabled, locations and other uh, dimensions are not enabled. So this is, uh, we need to create a template for the services. So what we need to uh, do is go to any of the product which is of the similar kind and then uh, from the top you can see in the product action pane uh, you will find a new group. Under this new group, there is a uh, option product which will create a new product and you will find a template. And on the left hand side in the maintain group, you will find apply template. So these are the two options available. When you need to create a template, you just go to the new group and select this one. And when you need to apply an existing template, you can select the apply template. So once you release a product, so the basic information is, is still there, but uh, many other necessary information like unit of measure, like a storage dimension group, tracking dimension, item model group, all these things you need to then re-enter in the release product uh, page. Once the product is released from the common place, there is common form product and ma product master page. Uh, once you release to any legal entity, you need to uh, fill the remaining fields. In that sense, this template, product template will be very useful. So once you click here, you will find two options. One is create personal template, the other one is create shared template. So personal template will be only specific to your user, whereas create shared template will be available to all the users who have the access to this form. 
So, then I will just uh, use this create personal template here and then uh, in the name field I will uh, just put services and I can abbreviate with my own uh, uh, initials PKR dash services. So, this template then will be available in any kind of services once I am creating. So, it will help me I will just create this one. Okay, then uh, let's go and uh, uh, we will put a filter on item and we will uh, try to also uh, use a product kind uh, instead of product master. You can also use product master uh, based on your requirements. So, let me pick this uh, speaker cover here you will find site warehouse and item model group is FIFO and then none and then unit of measure in case of purchase it's each and then sale is the pieces so these are different values so I will create one uh, uh, for this one create a personal template <coughs> then I will just uh, put a uh, abbreviation or a prefix and then uh, this will be a simple uh, product okay so that's it now what I will uh, need to do is I will go to all product and product master form and then I will try to create a new uh, product which is uh, type service okay and uh, product subtypes is a product here and uh, for example I, p I put here uh, carpenter service this is one of the uh, product which I am just creating and here I will just abbreviate with S and uh, then I will uh, just fill in for example 29 this is my product number okay so the product is now created but it's still it is not having any product dimension group storage dimension and all other fields so first I need to just uh, release this product and uh, to release this product I need to click uh, the uh, menu uh, menu item release products or the button pro release product and then I will release this to current legal entity that is USMF. From this I will select USMF okay, and then finish. This is the whole cycle to create a product until you release the product. So, it's the same product you can release to, uh, to another legal entity but uh, the system what it will do only the basic information will be uh, basically created because you can have multiple uh, uh, different storage dimension group storage dimension group basically define how you store the items you can have different tracking uh, dimension within a single legal entity uh, or maybe uh, different as per different legal entities or similarly different options you can have uh, based on legal entity different legal entity or the even the same legal entity so now this item has been leased uh, to the USMF and now I will go to the USMF in lease products form and I will put the filter on my product ID or item number okay you can see carpenter service is available but once I click this you will find here there is no storage dimension group no tracking dimension no item model group uh, although there is a unit of uh, measure already defined so what I can do is I can apply uh, the template here okay in the template you can see uh, the PKR service template is uh, available here to apply so I will just select this one and click OK so once I have applied you can see here storage dimension group tracking dimension and item model group and uh, other fields are also filled in for example the text 
information, maybe the vendor information, all these fields are pre-filled and also uh, some of the values are also pre-filled here. So, th this is the use of the template when you have and you can also always change these values. It is not necessary that you keep these values. So, uh, if you do not want uh, price information to copy, then from where you are making the template, just clear uh, the price information and copy then. So, this will be the option. Okay. So, now there is one more option which I need to uh, just uh, explain as well. From the release product, the form on which we I am uh, just now, I can create a new product here. Okay, in this new product, I will create another service. This is another uh, way how I can create a service item. Okay, then I will create here. I will give a service number. Okay, this time thirty. Uh, thirty number I must specify here. And then you can see here in the administration we have the option of apply template. So what I will do, I will use the same template services, and you can see here all the information are now pre-filled based on the template uh, in which I have uh, basically preserved all this. Even though, uh, for example, for the pricing information I need to adjust, so I will be adjusting this. Okay always you can change vendor I do not want a specific vendor here and here I will put for example electrical service. Now I will just click OK and directly the product is created and it is also released in current legal entity. So, this is the this is the benefit when you create a new product in lease product form. Okay, so now this was about the service. What about the uh, normal item? Normal item is also similar. Uh, so I will just create one uh, more item, and we will see here. Uh, now I will choose only item, not service, and uh, I will give a number to this item. Uh, let's say uh, it is uh, electrical for E and zero zero. 1 5 for example, same number I will use for item number. You can also auto generate by the system, but you can also keep it manual. So, I will say these are batteries. Okay, after this, you will again see apply template option. So, this time I will select product, and you can see all the unit of measure and uh, item model group, item group, and uh, storage dimension and tracking dimensions are pre filled. Even though you can now change this, template only allow you to copy the values what you have set up in, in that template. Uh, still, you can change the values. So, uh, and also I will specify which type of batteries. So, this is double A, need to be very specific, and I will click OK. So, this this product is now created. So, now uh, this is directly created in lease product. So, that this is th this product is also lease in current legal entity, but uh, still you can go to all product and product master or maybe products page to see this product is already created there as well and as well as it is released to the legal entity. So, here the product is created. Similarly, the product is also lease in current legal entity. So, this product template is very useful feature and you can uh, define uh, the templates as you like based on different variety of products. So, that uh, item creation or services creation is very easy for uh, you as a product designer or maybe product engineer or maybe a person in production or maybe person in uh, supply chain or purchasing or procurement department, even the sales department. Whoever uh, in charge is there, he, he need to just create templates and based on these templates, they can easily create the products. I hope this, this is very informative for you and maybe you can use the product template feature uh, whenever you are working D3 Thank you very much guys. Take care. Bye bye. Stay tuned for my next video.